Welcome to the next session of finite element analysis. I am solving a numerical on shape function which was derived for a quadrilateral element with four nodes at vertices. The derivation was in the previous session. I am solving a numerical on the same topic. Coordinates of nodes of a quadrilateral element are as shown in the figure below. Temperature distribution at each node is computed as T1, T2, T3, T4. These values are given to me. Compute temperature at the point P 2.5, 2.5. Calculate the values of zeta and eta. Now I have to solve using natural coordinate system. If you look at this problem, I have already solved this question before. But that time I was solving for rectangular coordinate system. The same numerical you can solve using natural coordinate system as well. Now if you look at the derivation which we did in the previous lecture, I had one node which was at least 0, 0. So let me shift this node to 0, 0 and rest of the nodes again will shift accordingly. So this will be 2, 0, this will be 2, 1, this will be 0, 1 and this will be 0, 0.5, 0, 0.5. Now we all know the equation of x which is x1, 5, 1 plus x2, 5, 2 plus x3, 5, 3 plus x4, 5, 4. Now here if you look, this is my x1, y1. This is my x2, y2, x3, y3 and this is my x4, y4. So I can substitute x1, x2, x3, x4. This is my x, y. So now I am converting this quadrilateral which is a rectangular coordinate system to natural coordinate system by finding the values of zeta and eta first. So let me substitute therefore 0 0.5 is equal to x1 is 0 into 5 1 was 1 upon 4 1 minus zeta 1 minus eta. x2 value is 2, 5 2 is 1 by 4, 1 plus zeta 1 minus eta x3 is 2 again into 1 by 4 1 plus zeta 1 plus eta and last x4 is again 0 into 1 by 4 1 minus zeta 1 plus eta now if you look here carefully the first term gets cancelled it is 0 the last term is also 0 so I'll be solving for these terms. So therefore 0 0.5 is equal to this is 1 by 2, 1 plus zeta, 1 minus eta and this is plus 1 by 2, 1 plus zeta, 1 plus eta. I'll open up the brackets. This is a simple mathematical calculation. I have 1 minus eta zeta plus zeta and minus eta. Next I have 1 plus eta plus zeta plus eta zeta. So let me open up the bracket 1 by 2 minus zeta eta plus 1 by 2 zeta minus 1 by 2 eta plus 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 eta plus half zeta plus half zeta and eta. There is a half here. Now if you check these two terms get cancelled these two sum up and become 1 then I have half zeta half zeta these two will make it to plus zeta and these two will again cancel out so therefore I have 0 0.5 is equal to 1 plus zeta therefore I can say zeta is equal to minus 0 0.5 so I found the value of zeta now I'll find the value of eta now I'll use the equation for y so y is equal to y1 phi1 plus y2 phi2 plus y3 phi3 plus y4 phi4. y is 0 0.5 is equal to y1 is 0 again. So I am not writing the term because anyways will multiply and become 0. For this term y is also 0. So second term also gets cancelled out. Third term over here is 1. So I will write down 1 into 1 by 4. I write phi 3 that is 1 plus zeta 1 plus eta and for the last one y is again 1 so 1 into 1 by 4 1 minus zeta 
1 plus eta. Now let's open up this bracket. So I have 1 by 4, 1 plus eta plus zeta plus eta zeta and I have plus 1 by 4, 1 minus zeta plus eta minus eta zeta. Now let me open up this bracket. Now here again you can see these two terms get cancelled out. These two will add up to become half. Then these two terms will add and become 1 by 2 eta. And these two will get cancelled out again. And on the left hand side I have 0 0.5. These two again cancel out. Eta I get a 0. So my zeta comma eta. This value is minus 0 0.5 comma 0. Now what I am going to do is, I am going to say that I need to calculate the temperature at this point P. So the formula of temperature is T1 phi 1 plus T2 phi 2 plus T3 phi 3 plus T4 phi 4. I know the values of T1, T2, T3, T4 and I also know what is phi 1, phi 2, phi 3, phi 4 and I know the value of zeta eta. So let me substitute everything. Therefore, T is equal to T1 is 100. Phi 1 is 1 by 4, 1 minus zeta, 1 minus eta. T2 is plus 60 into 1 by 4. I have 1 plus zeta, 1 minus eta. Then I have plus 50 into 1 by 4, 1 plus zeta, 1 plus eta. And last I have 90 into 1 by 4, 1 minus zeta, 1 plus eta. Now when I substitute these values of zeta, eta, I will get over here 25. So it is 25, 1 plus 0 0.5 and this is just 1. From here I get 15. So plus 15 into 1 minus 0 0.5 into 1. Then here I get, I get 12.5 and here I have 1 minus 0 0.5 into 1. And lastly this will be. 22.5 into 1 plus 0 0.5 into 1. So when I solve this, I get the answer as 85 degree Celsius. If you recollect, by using the rectangular coordinate system method and the shape functions from that method, I got the same answer. So whether you solve the numerical using natural coordinate system or by rectangular coordinate system, you will get the same answer. This process becomes little lengthier because you have to calculate the value of zeta eta which is not given to you. So I hope you have understood the numerical. With this I end the session. I will see you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.